Energetic Nation, and welcome to History Of. I'm your host and resident superhero nerd, Aaron Waller, and this is the series where we do a deep dive into various comic book characters, both heroes and villains, and give a little bit more insight as to who they are and why they do what they do. And in today's episode, we're talking about a very new, very green character to comic books, but he has a massive potential in being a fan favorite, and that's Connor Young, aka Darkhawk. Connor Young was created by Kyle Higgins, Pepe Larraz, and Juan Ramirez, and first appeared in Dark Hawk Volume 2, Number 1, in 2021. Now, before we get started, it is important to note that Connor Young is not the original Dark Hawk. If you do want to see the history of the original Dark Hawk, let me know down in the comment section down below and by smashing that like button so that I know that you guys definitely want to see that. But that doesn't mean that Connor Young isn't as cool or as important. Connor Young was a star basketball player at Woodlawn High in the Bronx, New York, but after passing out on a walk was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. He was sure his basketball career would be over and while riding the bench during a game and hiding his secret from his teammates, become stressed of the comments about him from the crowd and his teammates, he would then leave the gym and make his way to a construction site to clear his head. Which is a totally normal place for a teenager to go when they're stressed, am I right? While venting and recording a video, a strange diamond-shaped object would crash out of the sky and damage the work site. Connor would then try to rescue a construction worker who was trapped under the rubble, but his condition flared up and he accidentally touched the fallen object. He would then be transformed into a strange black and silvered armored form which rejuvenated him completely and filled him with unimaginable strength. And it's with this new strength that he would rescue the worker who recognized his resemblance to Darkhawk. Connor would then hear an explosion and race over to that scene to then stop a robbery by three men with high-tech weaponry, which is an extremely fast progression of hero work if you ask me. Back at home, Connor would be testing his newfound abilities, but also be stricken with regular crippling pain from his condition. One day, Connor's friend and teammate Derek would encourage him to go out for a newly released pair of shoes, though Connor stated that he couldn't afford them as his new medication was super expensive and his father still had not been rehired by the school. Derek would offer to pay for the shoes, they would go and get them, only to have them stolen. Derek would pursue the thieves and Connor would arrive on scene as Darkhawk to help his friend. Suddenly, Derek then pulls out a gun and shoots Connor with the high-tech weaponry from the robbery before, turning him back to his human form and revealing his identity to his friend. Shocked at the hero's identity, Derek would demand Connor give him the armor, but Connor would refuse and urge his friend to leave the gang. The two would be at each other's throats only for Miles Morales' Spider-Man to arrive and break them up. Later, Connor would attempt to reach Derek through text, but he never responds as he was actually killed by the gang that he was working for. Meanwhile, at a doctor's appointment, Connor would learn that his condition was worsening, thus him starting to question if his new powers were hurting him more than actually helping him. Back at home and experimenting with his powers in his room, his basketball coach would arrive and inform Connor of Derek's death, to which Connor would then go looking for answers and question one of the gang members Derek was working with. The two would nearly come to blows before Connor leaves only to return as Darkhawk and threaten him for information. He would be provided with information about a warehouse to which he would go but be ambushed by cyborgs and forced to flee before being knocked out of the sky and saved by Spider-Man. The two would share a heart to heart and Connor would give Spider-Man his life story and question if he was actually being a good hero. Spider-Man would eventually approve and back up Connor's ways once he admits that he would do anything for his family and his teammates. Meanwhile, during their heart-to-heart, -heart, Spider-Man seems to be busy texting off and on. This is eventually to be revealed that he was actually texting with Captain America, and the three heroes would go back to the warehouse, fight the cyborgs, and discover the leader was a former member of Hydra and now AIM named Colt. They would manage to bring down the facility and Spider-Man and Darkhawk agreed to keep in touch. Meanwhile, Sean, one of the leaders from before, is upgraded with some new abilities of his own and discovers Connor's secret of being Darkhawk and crashes Derek's funeral to which the two leave and engage in a very intense brawl. But once Connor gets the upper hand and the fight is finished, Spider-Man once again appears and reminds Connor that anytime he's willing to ask for help, it will be there for him. Connor then returns to his basketball team and reveals his condition to his teammates and questions if things will ever be the same as the Darkhawk persona seems to be preparing for something. Now as I mentioned before, Darkhawk is still a very new character and there's not a whole lot known about him which is why I didn't really mention a ton about his powers. But let's go ahead and break down what his powers are, at least what we know about them so far. Darkhawk is very similar to that of Blue Beetle or even Moon Knight in that Connor is bonded with an artifact that more or less transfers his consciousness into the Darkhawk armor. In terms of the armor, it's an advanced Shi'ar technology meshed with magic to give various superhuman abilities including durability, agility, reflexes, healing, vision, and uses various weapons such as energy claws, kind of like Wolverine, and can fire energy blasts from his chest, similar to that of Havoc. 
In terms of the armor itself, it's very similar to that of a Power Rangers or Beetleborgs, mixed with the Blue Beetle, Star Kid, or even the Giver, but needless to say, it looks pretty dope. Now because he is so new, Darkhawk has not made any appearances outside of comics as of yet, but it could be a very interesting addition to any Marvel series or movie down the line. And now for my favorite segment here on History of the Recommended Reading, where I give you a list of comic books where you can go and learn even more about this character and see them in action. But because this character is so new, I only have one recommendation, and that's Darkhawk Volume 2, and even better, this series only has 5 issues at the time of this recording, so you can easily get in it on the ground floor and be able to connect with this character without slogging through a ton of different books or extensive history. So those are some of the major things you need to know about Connor Young, aka Darkhawk. Was there anything in this video you may not have known otherwise, let me know down in the comments section down below. And also while you're down there, be sure to leave me some suggestions to any other characters you would like to see on this series. Your suggestion just might become next week's video. But also while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos from me or the rest of the Nerdgenic team. And also be sure to give us a like and follow across all social media platforms at Nerdgenic. That way you don't miss out on any special news, announcements, or articles at Nerdgenic.com. But in the meantime, if you want even more video content from us, check out these videos on screen. Like this recent video where I talked about the latest DC animated film Green Lantern Beware My Power. Or if you want even more history of characters, check out this playlist right over here. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, really do appreciate it, and we hope to see you in the next video.